comes up salmon on like the little knobby end of both of them. So it's going to be kind of tucked in uh, to the corner of this bale. That one is just both ends are out open because of their craft. Yeah, she's got one. There's one on the ground right in there. And then right behind this bale right here. So the cook on that end. Uh, yeah, you'll have to look on Facebook. I, I got a few and then I kind of was over about like giving a, like a promise of future puppies and dinner? Don't do it yet. Well, and I think it kind of depends. Like some dogs I think can benefit from that in the beginning. Um, but I find that a majority of dogs are not going to need it once they understand what they're coming. Because they're always available the straw. They're just like the setup is so similar looking that like they know that they're coming or not. Um, but I have a lot of people that want to give you know, a command of some sort to this piece to sit with things and to get their dog into that mindset. So by all means you can, whether you use the same command as you use for other odors. Um, that's something that some people they use the same thing and then I have other people that use something different for each different odor. So um, again it kind of will depend on you and your dog and what's gonna work for you. But I think in the long run you may not eat anything because she's going to know that when she comes into a ring, whether it's indoors, outdoors, in a barn, in a fairground building, here at Argus, the setup is the same. They go into the blind, whatever, like the routine is just so similar. Whereas with nose work, you're going out into everyday areas that like, what am I really looking for right now? Because there's a lot of things out here. Not that there's not other things out here for them to smell or talk sure. but um, they just figure it out a lot quicker. I, I, so, go when ready. See what you think about these two wraps with salmon on them. Where Tino's was? Um, Tina's. Tina's, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. She's searching much better. She is. Yeah. But, you know, even if rats are exciting, rats are not as instinct instinctual as food to dogs. And so you're just really That's taking big. it down even more foundationally for them and going, hmm, food is edible. Food equals survival. I know how to search for and eat that when I find it. Plus, it is a, it's a tangible reward. Whereas for a lot of dogs, the rat in the tube is they not so tangible. Figure out pretty quickly that is not what I have in mind <laughs> when you want to do one. <laughs> but you might have to scrape the floor over here because there's definitely stuff in it. <laughs> Miss Paris. Did you find it? Yes. Good girl. Oh, what a good girl. Look at that. There's a rabbit. Does it matter if she cares about it? No. The more that we pay her for and just praise her and acknowledge her for even just sniffing it, she will start to care about it a little bit more. Even if she doesn't necessarily care about it, she knows you care. We have quite the range of that in class between Finnegan and Tina and then Doc and Rumble. It's yeah. really interesting to observe yeah. actually.
everything, right? Remember that the rats can be just about anywhere on this course. And it's very easy for them in the beginning to lose interest if they don't get some odor, um, you know, put to them. Good. Yeah. <laughs> He's super shiny and pretty. 